Round four of the FIA World Endurance Championship moves to the forested area of the Eiffel region of Germany for the first time. It's the last of the events to be held in Europe this season, and appropriate enough, it was Porsche and Audi at the front of the field. Toyota on row number three have their performance centre and their racing team just about an hour and a half away at Cologne. Predictably, those three factory teams battled it out very hard at the start of the race. The big story early on, championship leaders and current world championship winners, the 51 yeah, AF Corsa car with issues that put it to the back of the field. Also a problem for Neil Yarny's 18 car, the Porsche stretched out a huge lead but had been burning too much fuel and over the course of the race would be into the pits three times for a five second, 30 second and then a one minute stop and go that overall cost it around about three minutes within the race. The charge back through the field would be epic. Difficulties on the warm surface, traction at a premium for all of the leaders. And indeed, the organisers deciding to put out a full course yellow to sweep up some of the debris. As the 18 car faltered with its fuel problems and Roman Dumas couldn't find his way to his pit, the Audis number seven and eight moved up through the field to take second and third spot. Pierre Kaffer surviving a nasty incident when the wing fell off his CLM. And then the incident between the 92 and the 71 Porsche versus Ferrari. Fred Magavicki driving into the back of the Ferrari under full course yellow. The Vidal Chiquet was an action area all the way through the six hours. The Alpine going round there and bringing out some more cleanup. The full course yellow allowed everyone to pit to and set themselves up for a run to the flag. What ensued was an epic run back from the 18 crew. Ben Trelluet, though not quite ready to give up second place at this time. The seven Audi fighting hard, less grip, but more determination from the Frenchman held on to second position, at least for the time being. The good news for him was he had help coming from behind. Luca de Grassi in the second of the Audis, charging up to the back of the Porsche. And once there, the Brazilian decided to make a quick move and give his teammate a tail end, Charlie, so that he and his teammate could pull away. Teams back timing towards the end of the race, the last pit stops would be crucial, and Audis were slightly too long. That allowed the 18 car of Mark Lieb to get back up into second place. In the categories, GT Am was won by SMP Racing's Ferrari, winning the Am the class in Pro. It was Porsche number 91. And in LMP2, it was the 47 kit.